Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. We are still working with the November 2022 paper pumpkin kit called From the North Pole. It's throwback Thursday, so I am using some paper from the Rings of Love designer series paper. Um, that was, was celebration. I'm also using one of the pieces from the October kit. And I'm going to throw in some of the gold cord. So this one's super, super simple to do. I've got one of the card bases from the Good Things uh, card add-on kit. And I've got a piece of five and a quarter by four in the designer series paper. And I'm just going to adhere it to the front of the card. And I've used Poppy Parade to stamp the greeting from the kit. This is one of the stamps from the uh, stamp set that comes with the kit. So I've stamped that on one of the round labels. I am going to take this piece and I am going to just put some stamp and seal on it. And I'm just going to create just a bit of a border or spine break, whatever you want to call it, along this edge. I think this really adds a nice little bit of detail this is in Cherry Cobbler, and the main color in here is Poppy Parade. But because we've got the darker in the green, which is the Evening Evergreen, it balances that out a little bit. And we've got our Merry Christmas, which I've stamped in the Poppy Parade so that it goes well with the flowers. And I am going to use the gold cord on the back of this. So I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of this like this. And I'm just going to loop the gold cord around. So I'm going to put it like that, stick it down, loop it, and keep on looping it. And I'm trying to follow with the way the cord is bending anyway, just so that it's not um, going to be kind of bending strangely underneath the card. I'd want a loop at the top here, and I'm going to put it so that I've got a loop. See, I've got the loop there. Let's pin that down, make sure that I'm actually in frame here. And I'm going to put a loop there. So there's lots and lots of cord on this, um, but that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted lots of detail on this. So that's where I want to go with that. I'm going to take some large dimensionals and I've got some of the edge pieces here that are in strips so I'm going to use some of those edge strips just to hold those pieces down and at the same time create that uh, detail I'm going to cut this end off like that and I just grabbed all my dimensionals because I wanted the edge pieces have I cut the edge pieces on this one? No, I haven't cut the edge pieces on that one yet. But I am going to make sure that I've got one more edge piece in here. So I'm just going to cut these. Just like I say, so that I can line everything up underneath and make sure that all those ends are held in. So what that will do is it anchors the ends and it... Does the dimensional load uh, dimensionalizes everything I did a card class the other day at work at lunchtime team building event um, and I talked about how the dimensionals lift things up so they are now called lifters uh, where I work which is a really good term for them so I'm just gonna pop this down right here making sure that my greeting is straight and there we go and there we have our alternate card for Throwback Thursday using elements from the 2022 uh, November Paper Pumpkin Kit. The DSP is Rings of Love and I've used the stamp and elements from the Paper Pumpkin Kit and then this is from the October Paper Pumpkin Kit. So thank you so much for watching and I've got one more alternate for you.